<laughs> that was fun, huh? All right, that puts me in a good mood. Uh, <laughs> Do you even know that's going on on your television sets? I don't know. Are you watching any of that? I mean... We are so overjoyed that you all are here. Would you just look around this room, standing room only, once again? And you know, we're making history right here, right now. As you've seen, we have three satellite CPAC uh, sites in Colorado, in California, and in Virginia. Because this room is simply not big enough to hold all the people that want to be part of this movement. We have millions of people around the globe who are watching us at this very moment, where, for the first time ever, both a president and a vice president come to CPAC in three consecutive years to thank all of you. And why is that? It's really not a secret. You're the heart and soul of this movement. And you all know Mike Pence. In Mike Pence, we have a steady, tested, and committed vice president. Long before Donald Trump saw his value and experience, we all knew his true character. His commitment to conservative principles earned him a nearly perfect congressional voting record with the American Conservative Union. He's a man of deep faith, committed to his family. He's always been in our corner, and we are proud to have his back. And that commitment extends to his exceptional wife, Karen Pence. And we're honored to have her join her husband here today. She's a mom, she's a wife, and she's a teacher. And we love our second lady. Now, I'm going to do a small commercial. I hope you've all gotten a copy of our most recent book, Reagan at CPAC. And in that book, the vice president authors a chapter. The vice president writes that it was Ronald Reagan who first brought me into the conservative movement 40 years ago. Ronald Reagan is still making an impact on people today. The vice president goes off on to say in this chapter that the smart set in Washington mocked and dismissed Reagan. I guess Reagan might have been the first deplorable. <laughs> I have to say that I literally thank God that when America's purpose and future hangs in the balance, we have bold leaders like our vice president. And he honors all of us with his presence. So at this moment, I get the privilege to introduce to you the Vice President of the United States, Mike Pence and Karen Pence. <laughs>